Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in again. I wanted to express my gratitude towards everybody who has subscribed, everybody who has commented. 70 subscribers, look, for some people, that's 70 people who are tuning in and, you know, watching and enjoying what I put out, and I really appreciate it. I'm working very hard to create better and better, you know, production, obviously. A couple of things I wanted to kind of go over today. This might not be the vlog for everybody. And when I say that, I mean it because I'm going to be coming from more of a fatherly parenting uh, position today. So if you're not a dad and you're not looking to be a dad, or maybe you don't want to hear, you know, kind of dad advice, or maybe not so much dad advice, maybe you're not in the mood to hear anything about parents because you hate your parents. <laughs> Whatever the case is, this might not be the one for you. But if you are a dad or a divorced dad or a parent who is going through a custody battle, this will be the vlog for you. It's hard to even start this conversation because I've had it so many times over the past couple of years. This month marks 19 months since my daughter spent a night at my home. This month marks 19 months since I've helped my daughter blow dry her hair and clean her ears and cut her nails and read her a bedtime story. This month marks 19 months that my daughter was illegally taken from my custody by her mother breaking child custody, her mother lying to the police, lying to the Department of Children and Families, and all of those cases of the DCF and the police coming to my house have all been unfounded. Cases were closed. We've spent a small fortune on lawyer fees so far. And the most important person this hurt was my daughter, was my little girl. So I don't know if anybody has seen <clears throat> my channel prior to this year, well, prior to the past couple of months, basically. Last year, I had posted a decent amount of content here on YouTube, not a lot, about parenting, about parenting thoughts, tips, and tricks, stuff that I had learned being a dad, stuff that I had learned having a really shitty father, <laughs> and trying not to emulate that style, trying to create my own style that would be a combination of what I thought was right, what I know is right, and also a mix of the two and just be creative to not repeat the same mistakes that my you know, parents did. I, I was scared of my dad. I was petrified of the guy. I grew up in a very physically and emotionally abusive home. And I didn't have any mentors or any guides or anybody. So in my teen years, I started experimenting with stuff that kids shouldn't be experimenting with. And it took me over a decade of messing around with all that stuff to realize that I was getting nowhere. Long and short, it turned out that I was better at working with tools than I was with working with books and studies. So I took a 20 year career in the auto body, automotive repair shop industry. Did very well until I moved from Long Island, New York to here and struggled to find a job that was gonna pay me the same rate, job security, you know, employee reliability, you name it. I had so many issues down here. My body is done, I've got a back injury, shoulders, knees, everything, you name it, it hurts. So I shifted into sales, shifted into automotive consulting, and I was very good, I'm always good at talk. Look, I can sit here and talk to a camera for an hour. I've got no problem with that, so I don't have issues talking. So I was really pushing to try to have my daughter learn these communication skills, you know, as she got to the age of like, you know, four, five, six, I tried to, to, tried to guide her into understanding that, you know, sales is just communication. And if you get in a job in sales, you know, you're, you're helping people, you're helping companies. And even if she didn't like sales, I didn't care. I was just trying to teach her things that I wasn't taught, things that could propel an individual into greatness at an early age. And any, any level of greatness is great, it doesn't matter. I started this company a couple of years ago and I had so much content around this. I had so much, not a lot, like I said, not a lot on YouTube. I should have put it all there because at least I would have had a following of parents that understood where I was at and maybe could have related. 
but it's not too late for anything in life. And I haven't completely shut down the company. I've just put it on pause. But I was taking, you know, two, three podcasts a day in some cases. I was doing like 18 hour days working a full time job and working this company at the same time, building websites, building sales letters, building email copy, basically just learning everything on my own. And boy, did I make a load of mistakes, which I'm sure everybody does in the beginning. The goal is still the same. And that's the same for this channel. Like this channel is for people who want to create anything on a, on, on a camera or a video camera or a drone. I turned something that was a passion since I was very young into a career. You know, it's a very small career right now and it's building and building in the past couple of months have been really, really awesome. I can't thank all of my clients enough for all the hard work that they've allowed me to put in for their projects. But other than that, it just goes to show you that nothing is set in stone. You can do anything you want in this life as long as you have enough commitment and enough drive to do it. So to wrap that back in with my kid, I created this company based on children of divorce, based on children who were living in a divorce home that were struggling with different parenting rules, different parenting t you know, tactics. And my overall goal was to show Taylor, my daughter, that her life was like a puzzle and she could combine all of these pieces of her life, the image of whatever she wanted. Like the puzzle is an image of self-reflection of herself. Everybody I spoke to about this we're, we're blown away that I even had thought about it. Look, I'm no superhero, but for me, I was a superhero dad. And that was the name of the podcast, the Superhero Parenting Podcast. So this has been a tough 19 months for me. You know, I haven't had my kid. I've been fighting in court like crazy. And I still don't have my child. After all of the money, after all of the lawyers, I'm devastated by this. This, don't think for a minute that this doesn't destroy me in in that part of my heart that's now taken away. You know, like a piece of my heart was ripped out and will it ever be the same? Probably not. My hope is that I can have the relationship back with my kid and the two times that I've seen her for more than an hour without any supervision by anybody putting shit in her head basically was met with 30 minutes of tension and then the, the back half of that time with her was awesome. It was like us again. We were daddy and Taylor again. The point of today's story is in 2024, I'm going to have a lot of things going on. In 2024, I have three specific projects that I'm going to be working on. One is a documentary based on divorced parents and parents dealing with child custody battle. For me, that's big. It's a it's an element of what I was doing at the Life Puzzle, and I take it very seriously. And I know there's other parents out there that are in the same position, whether they admit it to themselves or not, whether they admit it to their friends and family or not, or they're in a position where they have a good relationship with their ex-spouse, their children are flourishing, they understand that it's for the children, not for them. I'll speak for them as well. I'll speak for anybody. I don't want to be some person on a soapbox saying that I know everything because I don't. What I do know is the experiences that I grew up with as a child that I never wanted my daughter to go through. And I know the experiences that my daughter is going through now that hurt me so much that it's unfathomable that somebody would do this to their own child to try to prove a point, to try to hurt somebody, to try to put somebody in a bad light. One thing, and I'm not going to preach here, but I will tell everybody who's here tuning in, look in the fucking mirror. The first person you're going to blame for anything in life is the person staring back at you in the mirror. And it took me 20 years to realize that. So there you go. I'm not perfect. For 20 some odd years, I had this mentality that rich people were bad and money was evil and why does everything happen to me and blah, blah, blah. All this fucking bullshit I used to tell myself. And it was exactly that. It was fucking bullshit. I needed to get off my ass and make changes. Nobody is there to, to, to make the change for you. You could tell somebody till they're blue in the face, hey, you're gonna die of a heart attack. You keep eating that shitty food. Doctor says, hey dude, hey young lady, you are this close to dying because of your diet. Then maybe they have to have that talk to themselves and say, fuck, I gotta do something. That's the same for everybody. You can have people in your corner looking out for you, and if you're raised right, and if you have that support structure 
in your life at an early age, you might be able to pick up on it faster and you might be able to get that through your head faster. But that's not even set in stone either because there are plenty of people who are super successful that are fucking miserable, right? Again, I know this might be a little heavy topic for people and I know everybody's here to see about video and photo and cameras and that is never gonna change. I'm so passionate about this. The fact that I was able to turn this into a career, still I wake up with a smile on my face saying, hey, you know what? It might not be the direction that you are headed towards, but it's still a direction that you can enjoy and really feel good about. And I do feel good about it. I love creating. I love learning how to create better. I love creating for clients. It's an industry that is not going anywhere. Every business on this planet needs content. So if you can pick up a cell phone and record a video, you don't need a fancy camera. You can start with your phone. You don't need a ridiculously expensive lens. I don't have those things, you know? Like the lenses that I have are super affordable for what they do and they get the job done. The body, the camera body here, I'm only going to be upgrading because this thing has a time limit and it overheats after 30 minutes and contracts that I've got are gonna require longer than 30 minute recordings, right? So I'm only upgrading because of a necessity, not because I want it, blah, blah, blah. Sure, I want the $100,000 lenses and all of this cinema stuff, but it would be useless on me until I get the concepts behind how to use those tools. So I know this kind of video is all over the place and I do apologize, but structuring it out, I'm a dad that hasn't seen my kid in 19 months set aside two hours. I'm a dad who loves creating. We mess with GoPros. I took photography in, in high school. I loved it, I aced it. The teacher was pumped on all of my work. So I love creating, right? It's just an extension of my, I guess, outgoing personality, very extroverted, very, you know, I just wanna see everybody happy. I just wanna see everybody win, and that's no bullshit. From the guy on the street corner to the, to the multi-billion dollar business owner, I wanna see everybody win. I wanna see everybody win from their efforts. I don't want to see anybody just getting things because they think they deserve it because that's not the case. Nobody deserves anything in life unless you put in the effort. And that's what, that's what hurts me the most about this is because I put in the effort. I put in the effort with my daughter. I put in the time. I put in well over the hours that people say until you learn a new skill. Hell, I was a stepfather to her brothers before she was even born. And now I'm a stepfather figure to my girlfriend's children for over five years. So I have some experience in this. I'm not coming from a point of I've been a dad for a month. I've been a dad now for a long time. And when I made that commitment of having a child, it was a forever commitment. It was signing my life to that child and say whatever you need. If you are a parent that's in a custody battle, try not to get too discouraged. Find people that will support you mentally, physically, and in this case, if you need some financial support, don't be ashamed to ask for it because this is such a huge burden on the financial side to even have the right guidance. I didn't want a lawyer, we had to hire one. It cost us thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that we didn't have to spend, but we had to spend it. And 19 months later, I still don't have my daughter. So yeah, this year, I'm gonna be working on a documentary for parents and divorced parents and children of custody battle. I'm gonna be working on a documentary that I've been thinking about doing now for about two and a half years about Kurt Cobain. Um, maybe you heard of him, lead singer of Nirvana. And he was the very first song that I learned to play on guitar at 13 years old. I've been playing since 13 now, so quite a while. Was Smells Like Teen Spirit. Loved music, still love music. Music is the soundtrack to our lives. So, so I've got the Parenting Project, the Divorced Parents Project, the Kurt Cobain Project. I've got a 24 hour documentary that I'm gonna be doing this week, starting tomorrow. I'm filming from tomorrow morning at like eight o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock the next morning on Wednesday. If I can get it edited for Wednesday, I will for Wednesday's vlog. If not, it won't be. But other than that, I'm here to tell you that I came from nothing. I started with nothing. My feet used to get rained on in my late teen years because the roof had such a big hole on it that I would rush home from work in the middle of the day and tell my boss, I gotta go cover my stereo system, my sound system. I was big into stereos, we all were. I have to go cover that with plastic because it's gonna get soaking wet. 
and it was like a $2,000 stereo system. For me, that was a lot of money. I think for anybody, it's a lot of money, especially in that age. I didn't have the wealth growing up. I didn't have a wealthy mindset, which made it even worse. Now is a different story. Now I wake up knowing that I am the creator of my destiny. No one else. I know what I want in life and I'm gonna push so hard to get there. And in some instances, I'm just gonna let the universe take over. And this is not some hokey pokey bullshit. Look, to each his own on it. I believe in manifestation. Now I do, not then I didn't. I believe in that if you want something, you have to imagine you have it prior to having it. And then you gotta go work your ass for it. You can't just sit and wish for a pot of gold and say, hey, you know what? I can't wait till this pot of gold just drops on this table right here. The only way a pot of gold or a pot of fucking money or a shitload of fucking success is gonna happen is to go out and work your ass off for it. And that is the part that I want everybody to know here. I'm here to support your journey. I'm here to support my own journey. We can learn together. I'm gonna be looking for collaboration with other creators, whether it's drone videos, photography or videography. I'd love to collaborate with other big, bigger YouTubers as well, but I'm, I wanna collaborate with anybody. If you got one subscriber or 100 million subscribers, I'd love to collaborate with you. So that's another thing that I'm really looking forward to in 2024, creating better and better content for myself and for this platform here for YouTube, because if you're tuning in, hey, you're, you're spending your, some of your day with me and, and I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you from the bottom of my heart to understand that you're here tuning in for five minutes or 15 minutes. I'm psyched that you're here. Don't let life's limitations get in your way. We've all seen people from way lesser means than myself or anybody else create amazing amounts of success. And it's from hard work. It's from putting themselves in the right place at the right time and working hard. And we've also seen the opposite, where people have been broken down and tearn apart and they never recover, right? And that hurts too. So wherever you are in life, whether you're on the super successful side or you're in the middle or you're on the lower end, keep working at it, keep working hard. If you're doing this or looking to do this for a living, photo, video, remember this is 2023 going into 2024. As you can see, everybody is staring at video 24-7. This is the best business to be in at this time. So if you can pick up a camera phone and work some cool content for a company and give it to them for free if you're just starting out to learn the process, you will start to get paid. I can guarantee you because I did a fuckload of free work in the beginning and now it's paying off, right? Now I'm starting to get paid. Look, thank you so much. This was a long one. Might have been a personal one for some people. I know it was for me. Just understand that we're all here on this planet to, to do well, right? I want everybody to win. I want you to win. I want myself to win, obviously, because if I'm winning, I'm able to help more people, and that's about it. And you guys will see an update here and there. I'm, I'm trying to work out, should I just have a separate channel just for the podcast? I did like 56 podcasts last year, and I have like so much content wrapped around parenting. Other than that, I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving if you did celebrate Thanksgiving. If you didn't, I hope you had a pleasant weekend with your friends and your family or a pleasant weekend at work earning money. Doesn't matter which one it is, they're all good. And um, yeah, if you had some time to spend with your kids, I hope you enjoyed that as well. Thank you again for tuning in. I know this was a long one, might not have been the, the cup of tea for everybody, but the ones that you know needed this message, I hope it helped. And please, Throw a comment down below if there's something that you want me to discuss on this end. Throw a comment down below if you want something to discuss on the business end of photo, video, and drone. Gain any value out of anything that I've done so far or spread so far on this amazing platform of YouTube. Please consider subscribing. If you can hit the subscribe button, it would really help the algorithm, really help get the channel boosted up a little bit. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have an awesome day. Take care.